Hello, today we're going to talk about the probability that the center of a unit sphere is inside the tetrahedron formed by four randomly chosen points on the sphere. So I built a little macro here in Excel that shows that, um, that the answer is approximately equal to 12.5%, which is one eighth. Um, first, I randomly have these four points generated by the Excel random function. Um, theta is the angle that goes from the x-axis all the way around, so it's 2 pi. So it can any go from anywhere between 0 to 2 pi. Phi is the angle that goes from the negative z-axis up to the positive z-axis, so, so it can, it's um, random times pi. I converted them from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates using these formulas to convert uh, them into x, y, and z points, or x, y, and z coordinates. Rho is the distance from the center um, out, outwards. Um, this is to double check to make sure that the points that I generated randomly are in fact on the sphere. Um, so, so they're all one which is on the unit sphere. And that's fine. So what I do is I, I copy these points, randomly generated points, and pasted them as values here in this little table. And then I repeatedly do, do that. Um, to see if the point, if the center origin is in fact inside the tetrahedron found by, formed by four randomly chosen points. Um, here is the coordinate of this, of the origin. These are the ter determinants that determines whether a point is on one side or the other side of a, of a plane. Um, in order for the point to be inside a tetrahedron, all five of these determinants have to have the same signs. Um, they can either be all positives or they can all be negatives. But if one of them is different from the other four or more, then we know that that point or the origin in this case is, is not inside uh, the tetrahedron. So here we go. A, you can randomly choose to do this 200 times or 100,000 times. In fact, I did this 100,000 times. Um, it takes several hours to run um, because my machine is not very fast. But you can imagine the more times you do it, the more accuracy you have. In fact, I did 100,000 points and I came out, uh, it came out to be 12.4% uh, of the time that the origin is inside the tetrahedron formed by four points. So here's a, a, a short, a small sample of 200 points. Um, here is where we count. If it's a one, the point is inside the tetrahedron. If it's zero, the point is outside the tetrahedron. And it's just a matter of percentages of the time that the point is inside the tetrahedron. So in this case, we ran 200 points, and we found that 13.5% of the time, uh, points inside the tetrahedron. Um, I ran this several times, and the average comes out to be 12.3%. So if I had to choose, I would say this is pretty close to about 12.3, 12.5%, uh, um, which is about a one-eighth of the time. Alright everybody, thanks for watching my video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.